On the same day, hundreds of foreigners and wounded Palestinians began to leave Gaza through the Rafah crossing, through an agreement between Egypt, Israel and the Islamic movement Hamas, mediated by Qatar. However, the number of people allowed to cross this border is still very small. And it took Egypt nearly a month to agree to open this border for the people of Gaza to evacuate. People and vehicles lined up at the Rafa crossing on the Gaza side this morning, hoping to enter Egypt like the lucky ones in the first batch yesterday. It is estimated that about 545 foreigners and dual nationals and about 90 injured and sick people were allowed to leave Gaza for Egypt on November 1. Many countries around the world, such as the United States, Britain, France, Austria, Australia, and Japan, have also confirmed that their citizens have safely left Gaza and arrived in Egypt through the Rafah crossing. This is part of an agreement between Egypt, Israel and the Islamic movement Hamas, mediated by Qatar. This agreement is not related to other issues that are being negotiated, such as the hostage issue or ceasefire to resolve the humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip. Why did Egypt hesitate to open the border? Before the first group of foreigners left Gaza through the Rafah crossing, Egypt had been in a dilemma for many weeks, opening the border to help injured Palestinians leave. But firmly refusing the influx of Palestinian refugees to the Sinai Peninsula. Some people have even criticized Egypt and its president Abdel Fattah LCC for not opening the border immediately after the Israel-Hamas conflict began on the morning of October 7. To explain this, in a speech given in Cairo in October, President LCC stressed that he could not force the Palestinian people to move to Egypt as this would destroy the Palestinian dream of an independent state. According to observers, President LCC sees bringing one million Palestinians into his country as a political risk, which could create a refugee crisis, leading to a security threat to Egypt. They believe that opening the border would increase the likelihood of more extremist groups than Hamas entering the Sinai Peninsula. After the 2014 suicide bombing at the border checkpoint. To prevent the influx of people from Gaza, Egyptian officials set up additional security barriers in the buffer zone, limiting the number of Palestinians entering the country to 100. 000 to be managed in restricted areas. Egyptian officials confirmed that the country sympathizes with what is happening in Gaza, but also needs to ensure the peace and security of its country.